This is breaking news. Uh, just want to give you an update. Still ongoing. Uh, approximately one o'clock today, uh, we received a call from a concerned citizen uh, regarding a uh, flyer we put out, information we put out about a previous shooting that took place on October the 28th. Uh, the person said they had actually identified uh, the suspect in the building at 25 Van Velser. Um, about 13 minutes later, units from the 5th Precinct responded uh, to that uh, location. Uh, they did not find him in the building. Uh, upon leaving the building, they encountered the gentleman. Uh, they uh, gave him instructions. There was a brief altercation. The gentleman uh, pulled a gun out, uh, shot two police officers at close, play, close range. Uh, gunshot was returned, fire was returned. Uh, the gentleman retreated back into the building. Uh, we are uh, right now clearing the building out. All of the, mostly all of the residents have been cleared out of the building already. Uh, we have support from all of the agencies in this area. I want to thank all of the surrounding police departments, all of the ESUs, uh, the county sheriff's department, the FBI uh, is here as well, Homeland Security. Uh, anybody that you can think of is on the scene here today, and we want to thank all of our partners for being here today. Obviously, our prayers are out to the families of the police officers. Uh, you know, by God's grace, they are uh, in stable condition at this point. And thank, thanks to the doctors over there and everybody for responding. And the residents uh, in this community who uh, came to the assistance of officers that were in distress uh, and for the initial resident who made the call in the first place. Uh, so we're still, still the active investigation is still ongoing. We are still uh, clearing out the building and prayerfully we can end this uh, with a person in custody this evening. Go ahead. We don't, we don't know if he's in uh, one of the apartments now. We are uh, going, we, we suspect that. We're going from apartment to apartment now. The SWAT uh, is in there right now. I'm going from apartment to apartment. Yes, ma'am. So he was never shooting in the top of the building? He was actually in the Yes. Where they one another? In the uh, back of the building, in the parking lot area, in the back of the building, uh, when they were leaving the building. He was uh, probably entering the building or uh, or vice versa or whatever was happening, but they encountered him in a lot back there. Can you explain why a, a vehicle the building, the We have no knowledge of any vehicles being exploded, no vehicles exploded uh, that we know of at all. Yes. The police have his information. They know, uh, have that person, uh, you know, the, uh, they have identified him. So, yes, we are clear on who it is. Absolutely. The police do. Yes. I, I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the what the weapon was. And, you know, initial reports come in all the time. And, you know, we, we wanted to get a chance to clarify all the information that was coming before we came here, before I came here, verify some of that. So, I, I, I don't suspect there was any long gun uh, used in this. Uh, one, one officer was shot in his leg, uh, experienced a small fracture in his leg as well. Uh, another officer was shot. Uh, it, it went, it, you know, I guess grazed his neck, went into his shoulder. He went into surgery. Uh, he's going to be okay. Both of the officers are stable. Yes, sir. You have to speak up. I can't hear you. Yes, there was exchange of fire. Absolutely. Excuse me. Uh, I, I don't have it off the top of my head right now. No. Newark Police Agency. Newark is under uh, is, is heading the investigation now. Uh, we're in command. We're in command at this point. I can't hear you. Any record, any police record of that one? Yes. Yes. It says still under investigation, but yes, the person uh, that they suspect uh, obviously has a criminal record. Who are residents here? Who are residents? I'm not sure all of that information yet. Who are residents in the shelter in their, in their 
if you're in the immediate area, absolutely, we want you to shelter uh, in their home in the immediate area. It's still an ongoing investigation. Police are still scouring the building. The, the expectation is he's still in the building, yes.